Okay, it's uh, Desk of Lady. We're going to start doing these from uh, Periscope, Twitter, you know. This is a mini preview. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what's on your screen here? It looks like a bunch of numbers. This is by. the output. This is actually REPL output. So this is the serial port output yeah. from MicroPython. Um, I'm doing some MicroPython hacking. And this is the Feather M0. And this is printing out the contents of an array. Yeah. Yeah. Zeros okay. and ones. Little right. bits of data. And um, this is what's coming out of a terminal. Yeah. And then um, this is uh, it's a little game of life thing. Yeah, so I can... Um, yeah, boop it. I'm going to boop it. That's neat. So it's a little NeoPixel game yeah. of life. And a lot of people are probably wondering, oh, it's, it's plugged in, but maybe you can unplug it. <gasps> wow. Ooh. Yeah, so I think this is the smallest game of life, like... MicroPython device. It's a Feather M0 running our MicroPython firmware hot off the press today. Ooh. And then um, we made a little Game of Life demo. Yeah, it automatically detects if, you know, it's a very small grid. It's only four by eight. So it yeah. detects when, um, if it only has like a single generation and it will reset. But if it gets like into a it's cycle. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Yeah, I had it. I just reset it. It's yeah. cute because it's like a little thing. It's like, hey, little little universe. Yeah, and it's all written in Python, which is I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. Like, it's very very easy to write um, programs. I mean, I, I wouldn't call this like a high complexity program, but it's still a lot easier in Python. Yeah. Than dealing with it in C and Arduino, you just set an array and you just like you call Hue random and it just kind of works and then you just. You know, you're managing data a lot easier. Yeah. And then they set the, you know, the color randomly. And it's... Um... Yeah. And then here's... Um, we're playing around with uh, Moo. So it's 70 lines of code. Yeah. So here's Moo. It's a very simple yeah. editor. So you just import machine. That gives you pin access. NeoPixel. That's a library. U time and U random. That gives you, like, you know, time delay. Array. So that you can set up arrays. And you say... The pixel width, pixel height, that's the grid. And then, like, this is kind of, this is, like, the fun part. So you're just like, hey, just make an array, you know, an X, X and Y array. And it's very easily done in Python. And doing this sort of thing dynamically in Arduino where you can set the values very easily, it's, it's like, a much more frustrating. Like, you can't do it dynamically this way. Um, mm -hmm. If you wanted to, say, like, initialize it, you know, with zeros, for example... And then um, create the NeoPixel object here. So that's pretty easy. Just say NeoPixel object, take it to pin D6. And this is the size, width, times height. And then, you know, you're actually having fun with just iterating over the board X and Y. And you just add up the neighbors. And then um, I added this code here to tell you if any of the cells have changed so they can auto detect if it's stuck. But other than that, this is this is it. This is like the rules, pretty simple, and just set up the array. And um, here, here's where we set up the randomness. We again we iterate over it, and then just call u random to set the pixel. And then here's where we actually start our code. We set the pixels to all zero, and we print them out, you know, right. So set all the pixels off. Tell the code to um, regen. And uh, our default color, because we want to have like different colors for different um, iterations. And then if you need to refresh, it does that randomization thing, sets all the array to random numbers. Uh, it also sets the color to a random red, green, and blue up to the brightness. So you get like a cool different color each time. And then um, as long as uh, there is no refresh needed, it just does Conway step. It just steps through. And then it prints out the board and writes that board array, the X and Y, to the pixel strip. And then you just print out the pixels. So very easy and I, and I think very intuitive, like very simple to understand. Like this is code that is very readable, very adjustable, very hackable. And like it's, you kind of read it and you kind of see what it's doing without having to know like the details of the compiler, I think. So it's in a different approach to writing microcontroller code. Yeah. Kind of interesting. So this is a, just a demo. You wanted to try out the NeoPixel Featherwing. Yeah, I just wanted to see if this works, and then you built a little universe. 
It's a little yours, but it <laughs> dies very fast. Carousel. Carousel. And not even. Yeah. It's like three seconds. Well, I can slow it down. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, fun little demo. And then, you know, you can... I like that it's in color. And then, of course... Yeah, I like how small it is. We can... It's a different uh, little thing. We can make it on a TFT or something. But yeah. this is a good way to just uh, demonstrate... Yeah. On a feather, what you can do, and now it's portable micro python machine. Neato. Neato. Okay. I'm starting to use Periscope more. It says there's advanced controls on Periscope. I'm gonna see what those are. Let's see. It says like, oh, you can sketch. 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 How do you sketch? I don't know. Okay. Now you're in sketch mode. Sketch okay, sketch. Like it's kind of weird. Do you want to? I think you have to hit the X, maybe. No. It's offset because of the. Uh, Man. Yeah. Weird. Well, okay. I'm gonna try this again. So I'm gonna hold this. Okay, I'm gonna hold. And go to sketch. Okay. Okay. This time. I think you did it. Work. Good work. Okay. Oh, then it disappears. That's oh. Fun. Okay. What else okay. does it do? Hide chat and then cancel. Camera, Camera flip. flip. I don't want to do that. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, so they hit the button and just Boop. restart. Hello. Okay. I like how it gets like pastel y and then blue and then purple. Yeah, that's a different. That was a whole different life. Yeah. I, was, I went through my pastel phase too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Salmon. Salmon life. Blue life. Okay, so that's your little demo. Now we have a yeah. NeoPixel Wing demo. Alright. Rad.